Now, I agree with the people who think that the rule is dumb. It has nothing to do with her becoming a better runner. It probably hurts her as a runner, which speaks to why she is more than capable of being in the Olympics. But if the dress code says no cargoes and you show up in cargoes, I'm sorry, bro, we can't let you in the club. So the drug test says no marijuana, no THC. So if you smoke this or you have this in your system, you can't run in our race. And guess what? It is in the rule book. So because it's in the rule book, we have to uphold it, right? Now, I saw a post where somebody was talking about this is just like saying, well, he shouldn't have argued argue with the police officer or she shouldn't have dressed the way that she did and she wouldn't have got. No, 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 You extremists, no. There is a difference between a rule in order to run a race than something that takes someone's life or robs someone of their manhood or their womanhood because of a natural action that they did. No, 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 no. We're not going to equate what Shikari Richardson did to the people who have been killed by, by, by these race soldiers masking themselves in police uniforms or, or, or killed by these creeps who call themselves men, but they're actually rapists. No, no, no. That's there. There's a difference there. That's not the same thing. Now, again, I can disagree with the rule. I think the rule is stupid. I can say that marijuana is not a performance enhancing substance for a person running, but I can also agree that it is in the rule book. Now think about this. Some jobs have a drug testing policy and you can meet every qualification for that job to work it, but you got to pass a drug test. Excuse me, that's disgusting. But if you fail that drug test, you don't get the job. Same, same boss. Now, again, I don't think the substance helps you. It's not like Marion Jones taking, taking what she took. And you have to know that because of the Marion Jones incident and the other United States sprinters who were on 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 steroids, there's going to be more attention to those who are running because they want to make sure they catch you before you get there so that we're not giving up gold medals because at the end of the day, the United States in the business of winning. And if you are making decisions in your personal life, that will take away from what you do on the track. Hey, we don't even want you to run out here because we don't want you to get stripped of your medal three months later, six months later, a year later. No, 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 no. We want that medal count. Even if what you're doing doesn't have a direct correlation on what you're actually running on the track. Now, Here's the thing about Miss Miss Ms. Kari Richardson. She's not a victim. And for all of you people treating her like a victim, you're doing her a disservice because I feel like you didn't listen to the things that she said about herself. Because from what I read, from the statements that I listened to, she took accountability for her actions. Ish. Now she talked about how her mother's death affected her and how that, well, the reason, you know, she used marijuana to cope with that. Hey, man, you cope with what you're what you're going through, however you choose to do that. I'm not going to tell anyone how to cope with their issues. I'm not going to tell anyone who's younger than me how to deal with the death of their mother. I'm not going to do that. But I will say that. You have to understand the consequences of your actions before you make those decisions. And if you make a calculated risk to do something that could jeopardize something that you've been working your whole life for, you got to be able to live with the fact that you may not be able to achieve your life goal 
at the first opportunity in which you got to achieve it. Call me callous, call me insensitive, but all I'm saying is it is in the rule book. And if you know that it is in the rule book, when you violate the rule book, you have to understand that if you get caught, You're caught and you don't get the opportunity to live the life, to, 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 to achieve what it is that you worked so hard for. Now, on the wheels of this, I've saw Steven Jackson's of the world, the Odell Beckham Jr.'s of the world talking about boycotting the Olympics. I've seen people talking about how this is bullshit, this is awful, this is terrible, what's happening to her is wrong, and maybe it is wrong. But I always go back to, it is in the rule book. And because it is in the rule book, you got to respect the rules, even when you don't like them. And if you don't like the rules, you take steps to change them. But understand, in taking those steps to change the rules, you might get hurt. You might get burnt because those rules exist today. 